Hey guys, today we're gonna be trying some Easter candy that is gonna be a little bit healthier. So we can't wait to share all of the healthy candy options, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to our show today. We're gonna to be talking about Easter candy. Yay. I have a little partner here, his name is? Paxton. And he actually has his own show. He's my little five-year-old. And we're gonna do some taste testing for some yeah. Easter candy. What's your channel called? Toys with Packs. Toys with Packs. So make sure if you have little ones to watch Toys with Packs and make sure you subscribe to his channel. My kids actually have had some allergies and some health issues. So I really ran into a challenge of finding some healthier candy options for my kids. I'm actually gonna let Paxton try the candy so you can see firsthand that kids like this healthy candy. We're doing healthy a candy. challenge. We're doing a healthy candy challenge to make sure that all this candy is kid approved and that your kids will like it on Easter. So I am gonna, first of all, walk you through what we purchased and then I'm gonna put links below so you guys can actually purchase it online unless you live somewhere in a bigger city where you can go to a Whole Foods or a healthy grocery store and find it. If not, most of this stuff is on Amazon or a couple other sites that I will list below to help you out. So first things first, we're gonna start with these dark chocolate bites from Hail Mary. These are just like little chocolate um, cookie bites. I actually did. They're like brownies. So these are very allergy friendly. They're made with maple mm -hmm. syrup. They have some coconut, some extra virgin olive oil, and Basically, they're just coconut, so great. Gluten-free, dairy-free, maple syrup only, so. But they do taste like a brownie. They're actually really good. I think they're really good. What do you think? Mm-hmm. You approve? Mm-hmm. Next is Bear Baked Crunchy Banana Chips. <gasps> Banana! So these are gluten-free, no oil, no added sugar, no preservatives. Um, just basically like dried bananas that uh, are pretty crunchy with some unsweetened cocoa powder. He will open them up and see what Paxton thinks. Tell me if you approve. I think Ava would like all this stuff. She's only two. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna go with it? You like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this little bear. I found this little box that thought it was so cute. We've actually never tried these before, so we're excited to let you guys know what we think. I'll tell you guys the ingredients. It's just literally just fruit and vegetables. So it's apples, pears, raspberries, black carrot extract, and they're vegan friendly, no gluten, no dairy, obviously. That's what vegan means. No concentrated, um, no concentrates or fillers. And it's basically one cup of fruit per pack, no added sugar. So we're gonna open it up and see if he approves. So it comes in these individual packs, which are perfect for Easter, the Easter basket. Ooh, is there a card inside? Two fruit roll-ups. Should we both try them? Okay, here we go. What do you think? They're like, just like gummies. They're pretty good. They definitely taste like fruit. Definitely we'll be using these for our Easter basket. So here's um, a yummy chocolate bar. I'm gonna let Paxton try it. It's actually sugar-free. It's sweetened with monk fruit and erythritol. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite chocolate bars that I've tried and so I sometimes I, like I just break one. it up and put it inside of their Easter eggs or I would just break it up and put it inside of a separate little bag. You wanna try this Got one? It. It's chocolate. Yeah, it has almonds in it, but you can get it actually without almonds. What do you think? Um, yummy. Yummy? <laughs> okay. So let's go to the Cliff Kid Organic Z Fruit. These are gluten-free, non-GMO, no high fructose corn syrup. I can tell you they're mainly made out of fruit. Yep. So it kind of just looks like a piece of licorice, but- It's like a stick. It's like a stick. Both of my kids like these a lot. Okay, let's see. So next we're gonna go with, oh my goodness. Coconut butter cups. So I love this company. Coconut. They actually do a lot of cool stuff. They sweeten their, um, this candy is sweetened with coconut sugar. You can also get, um, I believe, keto cups. 
keto cups from their website with no sugar, which I have had if you're on the keto diet and they're really good. But the ingredients is just coconut cacao, coconut sugar, coconut butter, and Himalayan sea salt. Um, I've done these for the last two years in their Easter baskets. So let's let Paxton try. Chocolate. How's it taste? Good. It's another um, chocolate bar option that I really like. This is sweetened with um, coconut palm nectar. It's vegan, it's raw, it's organic, it's gluten-free, it's GMO-free, it's dark chocolate. And because of the coconut nectar, my kids still really like it. So it's a great alternative to a regular chocolate bar, it's just plain chocolate. Um, they do have a couple other options, but this is the one we always go to because it's the healthiest. And we're gonna let Paxton try a piece of it. Oh. Oh my goodness. That is so good. You could really break it or cut it however you want or put the whole bar in the Easter basket. You want me to try it? Oh, apparently I'm trying it too. This one's pretty dark, it's not as sweet. But they also have another version that's a little bit sweeter. We're gonna do that one. We'll talk about this one. one. What? <laughs> What's going on with your teeth? Can you smile at the camera? Okay, so next we're gonna be, we're actually planning to open this because he's had these a million times, but these are um, fudge brownie collagen protein bars from Bulletproof and they have no sugar in them. They're made with cashew butter, so you can have them if you don't have a nut allergy. And they actually have collagen in them, and my two-year-old loves them. She begs for them. So next, we're gonna be doing a fruit and veggie strip by Pure Organics. <clears throat> it's gluten-free, organic, and vegan. Let's see what it's made out of. It definitely has some apple juice in it, some carrot puree, strawberry juice, lemon juice, vegetable for coloring, and let's see what Paxton thinks. Do you wanna try a bite of this? Give it a bite and let me know. Tell me what you think about that. I think it's like gummy bears. Gummy bears? That's good, because you like gummy bears, huh? Mm -hmm. Next, I want to show you guys um, something that I always use. I keep on hand um, in my bag, in my diaper bag. These are great little individual wraps, almond butters. Um, I picked this one because it's a little bit sweeter. It has actually maple sugar in it. That's like peanut butter. So this, a lot of the times you can find these little like um, nut and fruit bites in the grocery store. These actually have sunflower seeds and chocolate um, and some dates. So a lot of times when you're in a healthier grocery store, they have a bulk section with dried fruit and little options like this. But I figured why not put them in their Easter basket this year? Um, because they think it's a snack and they think of it as like a cookie or a treat. So we'll see what Paxson thinks. Would these fit in an Easter egg, you think? So these would fit in a little plastic Easter egg if yeah. you wanted to. Mm -hmm. You like them? Yeah. Tell everyone what your absolute favorite was. Those yeah. were your favorite? Yeah. So I hope this is helpful to show you guys some alternative options besides always going straight to candy, but I hope this helps. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know, comment below if you wanna see more videos like this, more healthy alternatives. We do the same kind of candy for Halloween. So comment below and make sure you subscribe. Bye bye and I hope you liked my video. <laughs> bye, thanks for watching.